we shook some trees, thanks to News 2. Well, a Nashville man spent months trying to get these barrels removed from behind his neighborhood. But it wasn't until we stepped in that something was finally done. News 2's Miranda Whittington joins us in studio. And Miranda, what was inside them? Well, Alex, that's the thing. Timothy Adams had no idea. He believed there was toxic waste inside and was worried whatever it was would spell out into their neighborhood's drainage ditch. There's the road. I don't think these were rolled down. I think they were placed here on purpose. A walk led Timothy Adams to ask something. What's in them? A simple question he's been asking for the last six months. So I hiked down and shook them around a little bit, and obviously something was in them that shouldn't have been there, and that's why somebody dumped them here. Adam says since that time he's been making calls trying to get someone to remove the barrels that sat behind his Myrtle Wood Estates neighborhood. I just kept calling the city and um, kept shuffling me from one department to the next. I would interact with somebody multiple, multiple times and then finally they would say we can't help you, you need to go somewhere else. Summer turned into winter bringing a new concern to Adams. If they would freeze in the weather that we're about to get, those barrels would have popped, anything in them would have ran down this drainage ditch and would have ended up running through our backyard where our kids play in these creeks. After no answers, he emailed News 2. We made some calls and in hours the barrels were gone. It's been a spot for dumping. But Adam says this spot sits right in front of the entrance to the Britwood Oaks apartment and is constantly filled with trash. Somebody dumped a pool liner up here about two years ago. And other random items Adam says he's complained to the apartment complex about in the past. They said they can't do anything because corporate office won't take care of the, the trash bin up here. They said it's ill fit or incorrect for the residents to throw their trash in and everything blows out and blows down the hill into the woods. We spoke to someone from Sun Road Enterprises who owns the apartments. They told us they didn't know of the barrels until we called, but would get them removed, something they did and Adams is glad finally happened. You saw somebody from the city was just here looking at you and me. Now somebody's coming from Brentwood Oaks Apartments. So, you know, we shook some trees, thanks to News 2. The Sun Road Enterprises also told me that asphalt material was inside the barrels, but said they didn't believe those barrels were located on their property. I did reach out to Metro's Coats Department, who told us their inspector did come out and determined that land is indeed owned by the apartment company. They also said they sent the property an abatement letter about additional debris the inspector found and will follow up if the debris isn't removed. Bob. Good job.